Hi, Anand. Thank you for being on our Be Fearless podcast. I'm your host. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for having me here. This is going to be a more informal part where we just want to know your journey as entrepreneur and especially exited entrepreneur. Um, I'm myself actually from a very small town in Russia, so I can totally resonate with your whole journey. Uh, I'm not an exited founder, but I think a lot of our listeners would like to know that, um, like, just in general, what advice would you give to budding uh, cybersecurity entrepreneurs? How are they supposed to start and if you have any tips for them? Yeah, so the first and foremost, um, I think there are two, three things. Uh, first is like, if they are building something, mm -hmm. they should always talk to customers to get inputs. Uh, if, if the product has really PMF uh, product market fit, right? And uh, if the product would work uh, at a larger scale, right? Are they solving the right problem? Because I think that's very basic. Um, the second one is, um, of course, fast execution. So if they feel, feel like something is not working out, right, mm -hmm. they should be faster enough to like change and be very dynamic, yeah. right? That's important. And um, yeah, with faster execution, it comes like you have to fail probably multiple times before building yeah. PingSafe. I maybe built three, four products, which people don't know, which are not there. They were for short period of time which are um, which w were really not having product market fit. Uh, I think just in general, cybersecurity um, can be quite a saturated market when it comes to services. As you said, fast execution is so important. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's. Um, I think it's very important to have this combination of being technical, but at the same time having enough soft skills yes. to make your company successful. Yes. So, Except for technical skills, yes. what soft skills would you say that cybersecurity entrepreneurs should have? Uh, so I think the product side, uh, you should understand how the product will shape eventually, right? And uh, where this product is um, actually fitting. So product, okay. I, I feel like if you don't have uh, the product mindset and if you are only technical, then it's a problem. Product, okay. tech the vision around the product, right? The strategy around the product. And of course, you need to have uh, a skill of um, hearing uh, bad things about your product so that you can improve, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's very important, like meeting customers and uh, hearing, getting feedback from them. Yeah, I think it's quite common when people ask actually for um, uh, feedback. And to be fair, most people just want to hear something positive. Um, so I think you should just this is another feedback so <laughs> I, whenever I used to meet uh, customers yeah um, I was always like uh, what are the areas where we could improve upon like positive is fine we want yeah. the negative ones first you should have some guts to ask this kind of questions because yeah um, I think anything can be improved you can continue improving anything forever yeah and maybe that's another skill that you should know okay, what's the, the product is good enough, we should launch it now because yeah. it's about perfect timing. Yeah. And also, yeah, having a good product. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, so maybe one other question that we'd like to ask you. Um, right now, you're on a bit of a break. Not a, not on the break. <laughs> <laughs> not on the break. Not yes. on the break. Not quite a break, but... Yeah. Um, but in general, how do you take a break and just relax? Do you have, I don't know, a work-life balance where on the weekend you just don't touch anything work-related or yeah. you go on vacation every now and then? Um, not right now. No vacation <laughs> still now after I exited. Okay. Uh, um, still work in progress. And I feel like we have a bigger challenge now of launching this product to the entire customer set. But I feel like this is a very Im Im important thing, mm -hmm. uh, right? And um, uh, this is my advice that um, this should be prioritized. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, I don't know what kind of mentality you're supposed to have when you work for 16 hours, 18 hours a day. So that was passion. So while I was doing startup, it, yeah. it was, it's always passion. It's passion about the problem statement. It's not the startup. Okay. It's okay. the problem statement. 
Interesting. Yeah. So in the, at the same time, because you were so passionate, you didn't really need a break from it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's something. Yeah. Yes. I think a lot of people aspire for. So it was a super related question. How during the hard times you kept inspiration on? <laughs> uh, honestly, I would like to say passion. And there is always one more thing that I would call like to call out mm. for me, uh, since I was doing bug bounties, then another company, then another company. Mm -hmm. And as I uh, was setting earlier with Vivek, right, mm -hmm. I had um, kind of nothing near to nothing to lose. Yeah. Right. So um, I had this mindset of different kind of a mindset. Mm -hmm. Right. So I would like to say uh, there sometimes you feel that uh, maybe some customer we spend so much time, right? And uh, there are issues, but I feel like that's temporary. Mm. You take maybe you take it positively, you work on it and then you re-execute it. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. I, you have nothing to lose, but... Uh, your skills, uh, they always stay with you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. My, my mom always used to say, your friends might walk away, your partner might live, but your skills yes. is something that's yes. always going to stay and with you. And I have seen my parents working very hard for us, even for us to get educated at the first mm. place. Mm. So um, I have so many hard working people at my home. So um, what I am doing is like, I feel like it's very minimal if I compare it to what they have done, so. Yeah, I think um, parents always give you this extra push. Yes. Whereas sometimes you think, okay, do I have enough energy for that? And then yeah. you look whatever your parents did. Yeah. So, yeah, very inspiring, very yeah. inspiring. Thank you. So what would you tell your younger self? Uh, maybe while I was doing bounties, <laughs> I was a bit stressful and okay. not that patient in between mm -hmm. so i used to find bugs and then maybe i would wait, wait. <laughs> i had this anxiety thing where i would wait for the response from the other team like what's really going to happen <laughs> to this bug very funny but uh, yeah okay yeah. is it do you think is it something related that you were unsure about the progress that you were making within or uh, it was more like i spent a lot of time in finding something Mm -hmm. And then maybe what if that's not really valid or something. So I was, though I worked really hard to find that thing. Yeah. Right. Very interesting. If you could change something before, what would it be? Like when you just started a company? So I feel like I wouldn't change anything mm -hmm. because honestly, I feel like there is, uh, there are no regrets or something like that. Yeah. Great. Well, yeah. it was nice having you on our podcast. And Thank you. Uh, see you again. Bye.